I'd like to take a moment to thank my channel members. Thank you. It's continued support like yours that keeps this channel growing. And if you haven't already, please consider joining today. Hello and welcome to That's Just Prime and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Masterpiece Optimus Prime with 10 seg base. And this is one that I've been looking forward to for quite some time. This is brand new and starting to ship right now as of the time of this recording. It is available through online retailers. I got mine from Entertainment Earth. I'll put a link to it in my description down below. It retails for approximately $60. And right off the bat, as soon as I opened it up and I saw the box says Transformers Masterpiece, I thought that was weird. This is a repaint of the Voyager class or Voyager size Ultra Magnus figure that was sold at a leader class price point because it came with a trailer that also turned him into Ultra Magnus. So this is that figure, the White Prime, repainted into Optimus Prime, which is something I said I wanted to see when I re originally reviewed that figure. Um, but so basically what we're getting here is a repainted Voyager glass figure with a little uh, floating base, and they're calling it Masterpiece. I find that very, very strange. But anyway, the box doesn't really show a whole lot, just black box with white lettering. Uh, pretty much the same thing all the way around. Now when you open this box, inside of this box you're going to find this box right here. And this box shows us a little more. This is pretty cool. Transformers logo on the side, Takara Tomy. You can see the figure right there in his robot mode. Again, you can see it's that white prime from, uh, figure from the Ultra Magnus uh, from Earthrise. Uh, just done in Optimus Prime colors. Again, something I really wanted to see. You can see him in robot mode. You can see him in truck mode. And you can see the base right there. The little Tengen base, the little or Tenseg base, the little floating base over on the side. It shows you the contents of the packaging. You got the, the figure, the weapon, and all of the pieces to build the base itself, which is something that you have to put together. On the back, product shots of the figure, both in vehicle and in robot mode. Uh, some info here that I can't read. Obviously, I'm, I don't read Japanese, so I don't know what that says. I might throw that through a translator, see what that says. I'm just curious. And then, you know, some uh, action shots. You, show, you can see Prime here on top of the base, uh, shooting his rifle off. And then it also shows you that it is compatible for playability with some of the core class figures. So you can see this extension right here, holding Prime up in the air, and you got Starscream and Megatron up here at the top. That's uh, about it for the packaging, really. Uh, side, side shot right there, logo on the top, tiny type on the bottom. That's about it for the packaging. Let's get this opened up and check it out. Out of the package, we get the Optimus Prime figure itself. We get his weapon. We get the two trees with all of the different parts that we're gonna need to build the base. We have the two pieces, the main pieces of the base itself. We got a bag of hardware. We've got a bag with some string and we have a sheet of instructions. So what I'm gonna do now is I am gonna go ahead and build the base. I'm gonna do this off camera and I'm gonna check all of this out. From what I've seen, it is quite the, um, the it, it takes a little bit of doing, just you know, doing the string. You have to do measurements and cuts and whatnot. So it's not just something that you just go and do on camera. So I'm gonna do all of that off camera and then we're gonna come back and finish up the review. And here's Prime out of the box, already in truck mode and shown with everything he comes included. And I want to go ahead and knock out this base before I do anything else, because this was just not fun. Let me move some of this stuff out of the way here. Um, yeah, th this was not a, a fun project to put together. I usually enjoy putting together model kits. I love building Gundams and that kind of thing. Um, I like building puzzles. This was just not fun. This was just uh, uh, an, an experiment in fiddliness. You have to cut strings at a certain length and they kept popping off and I had to keep um, remeasuring and putting everything back in. And then after I cut them, after I had them in and I cut them, the whole thing came apart and now I had even less string to work with. And uh, basically this, this is the best that we got. It, it, as you can see, it's, it's not, it's not a level playing field here. Um, and I, at several points, I, I've decided, you know what, I'm done. I'm just putting this thing away. I'm not even going to bother to show it, but 
I didn't want to do a disservice to the video, so I did want to at least show it assembled. And I'm probably just going to take it apart after this and put it away and never look at it again. So, honestly, I don't think that this thing was really worth it. Um, there, there's this isn't an, 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 this is a higher price point for this whole set right here because of this. And in my opinion, this is just not worth it. It really isn't. Um, honestly, I would have preferred a trailer for Prime than than this crap honestly so but but there it is uh it will support a figure once you get it put together so even though it's not um level you know you can put a figure there <laughs> of course the minute i get it in front of the camera it's gonna fall off but there you go so you can see it will it will support a figure it is floating it's a floating you know it, it is doing all of that um it's yeah I, I, i'm just not a big fan Maybe it's because of how frustrating it was to put together. Maybe I would feel different if it would have worked better. I don't know. Um, of course, you can not use the center pieces and not use any of the strings and just use the bases, which might be what I end up doing, just using the bases by themselves with these pieces here because you do get quite a bit of these. So you get two different sets here. You get a set in clear, you get a set in silver, and uh, you've got various assorted clips and pegs that can be pegged into the vehicle or into the character, the, the, the robot mode, uh, some of the other robots uh, to make little scenes. Um, so these little clips and, and, and pegs right here will work for different size um, figures, okay? Uh, you get two arms right here. You get a clear one and you get a silver one. And these have, these are articulated so you can open and close these. So you can wrap these around maybe like a figure's waist or something like that. And they are adjustable in height. They are a bit clicky. There's good friction in there. So that'll hold those together. And these can be pegged. There's four holes on the base. There's one in the center and then there's three going around. Same thing for the base, the clear base on the bottom here. So you can use that. And then you've got these articulated arms and these are articulated at the bottom here at the top or rather at the center and then at the top. And you can see here I've got one of the pegs right there this peg actually will fit into his back when he's in robot mode uh to give him kind of a uh floating um kind of effect which i am going to try and show off here uh towards the end of the video but um like i said i'm probably either just going to take it all apart and uh, put it put them away in baggies or i'm going to remove all the strings remove the center pieces and just use the bases with the arms with the articulated arms for some flight poses or something like that and that's probably going to be the end of this thing's life because i'm just not not a fan this however absolutely love this and i know that this is not aesthetically pleasing to everybody uh, but this was something that when we got that ultra magnus i specifically said i want this i would love to see this happen and here it is it happened i had to pay a little extra for it uh, but you know what? I, I, I'm glad that I have this. This is what I wanted. Uh, there was also obviously a very terribly missed opportunity here. Instead of this base, I would have rather gotten a, a trailer for this guy. Uh, I think this was a missed opportunity to make a Power Master Prime. Um, you know, they took this trailer and they uh, touched it up a bit. They remolded it a little bit to give us that Cybertron Convoy uh, or that Galaxy Convoy Optimus Prime. Um, I don't know how much work it could have. I can't imagine it would have been that much work uh, to do another a retool of it and give us a Power Master Prime. I think that would have sold this like hotcakes if we would have gotten this as a Power Master Prime. Uh, or even if they give us another uh, Magnus trailer painted up in like um, powered convoy colors, right? So, you know, or what most people call Delta Magnus nowadays, uh, the original uh, Diaclone powered convoy. That would have been a cool trailer to have with us. So, uh, but there it is. It's, it's the same. Uh, truck that we got as the Earthrise Ultra Magnus. Um, it's just done in prime colors. Approximately five inches long, about or five and a half inches long, about three inches tall. And as you can see, it's pretty much the exact same thing all the way around. It is literally just a repaint. Uh, he does come with the same weapon that Magnus came with. So there you go. Uh, in my case, I now have two weapons for Magnus because I will be using a different uh, weapon for him. And I'll show that off here in a moment. But uh, yeah, there's there's the rifle for him. Taking a look at him in detail right here so you can see what he looks like. Uh, you really, really love the colors. The red and the blue are very vibrant. I love these colors. The wheels are painted. You got the white stripe going around the sides and the front there. Uh, dark, translucent, but dark windows. You can actually vaguely see in there. You can tell that they're translucent, but they're, they're doing that uh, tinted effect. So you actually can't see in there. 
silver grill, silver bumper. I don't know why they left this in silver. This should have been red. Uh, silver smokestacks right there. And then uh, silver here on the back. And of course, you got the visible arms. And I mean, this was meant to have a trailer attached to it. Without a trailer, it just really seems incomplete or untransformed. So uh, I get that a lot of people are not going to like that. Now, he does work with the trailers. So I've got Siege Magnus' trailer right here. So we can go ahead and attach it. I got all his weapons in there too. Let's get rid of that. Uh, and uh, yeah, he will clip on there exactly like the other figures did. So there you go. You can do that. If I were to do it correctly. Of course, when it gets on cameras, when it doesn't want to work, you guys know that. You've seen me screw these up for years. Uh, and why is it not working all of a sudden? I don't understand. This has been working perfectly fine off camera all weekend long. There you go. So that's what that looks like. And again, that looks pretty cool. If we had this in uh, Delta Magnus or Powered Convoy Colors, I, th I think that would have been awesome right there. Right, let's go ahead and split these apart. Oh, I see why that's not working. Because I didn't line it up correctly. Silly, silly me. There you go. That's what it should have looked like. Anyway, too late for that. Let's go ahead and split that off, and we'll start working on that transformation. And transformation is, of course, uh, nothing we haven't seen before. We've seen the transformation on this figure uh, three times, four times <laughs> already. So uh, start at the back here, pull the legs apart, and then bring them down, and then put them back together again. Flip out the heels, take the fists, and rotate them up. We're going to take the camera and move it up <laughs> unpeg the shoulders right here and just bring these out and out of the way like so take the whole front of the truck pop it open bring out his head pop the cab back in place turn it around bring up the grill you can go ahead and clip the shoulders in place right there and finally take the whole upper body here upper torso Push it back, click everything in together. And there is Optimus Prime in robot mode. And again, I know a lot of people are not gonna like this. He looks uh, thick. Uh, it's got that, that Energon Optimus Prime almost look, or, or if, uh, I shouldn't say look, I should say effect. I understand a lot of people are gonna say they just look fat and they're not gonna like it. I love this. Um, I wanted that Magnus done in prime colors and I got it and I love it. I really really like this a lot the colors on this look absolutely fantastic that prime head it's the same prime scope so it is absolutely stunning that looks really really nice right there uh we've got the again all the same reds and blues transfer over from the truck mode we got more silvers here we got silver here on the belt we got the yellow um, details here on the belt we got the yellow details on the arms we, i didn't point out the uh, yellow lights earlier we can see the smokestacks going all the way around you got that bumper for the backpack right there just like magnus did and uh again i like it i yeah he looks blocky <laughs> he looks boxy maybe he looks a little overweight i dig it i really like this a lot articulation is exactly what we had before ball joint on the neck forward and backwards rotation all that good stuff shoulders can go forward and backwards all the way around in and out rotation at the bicep bend at the elbow rotation at the wrist rotation at the waist legs can go forward that far back that far in and out rotate at the thigh bend at the knee you have a little bit of ankle down but you do have ankle tilts i should have said heel down and ankle tilts for split positions so there you go looking good again i like it and i know everybody's not going to and it is a higher price point so, you know, it's one of those you don't have to get it, um, you know, it's, but it is absolutely my cup of tea. You guys know that I love primes and I wanted this. So this is right up my alley. This is exactly what I wanted. Now, there he is with his weapon, probably for the last time ever. Uh, so you guys can see what that looks like. But my good friend Larkin from Larkin's Lair was kind enough to send me one of his 3D printed G1 weapons, which fit perfectly with him. And check that out. That looks so, so nice right there. That looks really awesome. And you can take him, put him on the little 
10 sec base right here. You can stand them up. And uh, there he is, floating in the air up in his 10 sec base. Uh, yeah, whatever. Um, <laughs> I'm just so unenthusiastic about that thing. Uh, well, let's do this, however. Uh, so, like I mentioned, I had that one peg in the back right there. There's a little pet port right here on the bottom of, his, uh, of the uh, bumper. So you can actually peg that in there. And let's see if we can make this work. And I've had this going here on the, on the center peg is where I've had it pegged in. So let's see if I can make that work. And uh, yeah, there, there you go. Let's see if we can get a, a little bit of a more dynamic pose. And uh, yeah, there you go. That's how that works. That's how that looks. Now for some quick comparisons here, he is next to Generation 1 Optimus Prime. So you can see the two of them, how they look side by side. And of course, here he is next to Ultra Magnus. So that you can see what the two of these guys look like side by side. I forgot to flip that over. So there you go. There it is next to Ultra Magnus. And again, like I said during his review, I wanted this done in red. And I got it, and I think it looks fantastic. I enjoy this figure a lot. Aesthetics aside, I really do enjoy this figure a lot. So there you go. So you can see what the two of them look like together. And here he is wearing the Siege Ultra Magnus armor, standing next to the Earthrise Ultra Magnus. And, you know, if I turn him around, you can see the red track right there. So you can tell that that is him. It does work. He can wear the armor. Uh, now, this being the Siege armor, the clips here for the chest don't line up, so that just that's just kind of sitting there. But this armor, being that this guy is a repaint of this guy, uh, the Earthrise armor fits perfectly fine on him. The Shattered Glass armor would work perfectly fine on him as well. And there we have one last look at the Transformers Masterpiece Optimus Prime with 10 seg base. This is available right now from EntertainmentEarth.com. I'll leave a link down in the description so you know final thoughts again i love this toy i really do this is exactly what i wanted i wanted an optimus prime out of that ultra magnus it's just a shame that the extra premium that we paid for this figure was wasted in my opinion with this base uh and we had there was a a, a missed opportunity here to give us a a maybe a new trailer or even just a repainted trailer of magnus in diaclone colors um, missed opportunity to give us a Power Master Optimus Prime. Uh, just, just something with a trailer because this figure, when he's in vehicle mode, uh, without a trailer, looks incomplete. Uh, but there it is. Again, uh, that is the Transformers Masterpiece Optimus Prime with Tang Seg Base. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you next time on That's Just Prime.